Hey everyone, my name is Kevin, I'm part of the SIM department. So today we're going to be talking about the transvenous pacer as how it applies to most of our NYU uh, locations in terms of the box that we have. So first off, we have a temporary pacing catheter. This is the all-in-one box. It's going to contain the cordis, which is six French, as well as our catheter, which is five. We want to make sure that the cordis that we use is only one size larger or else we'll have blood leaking around the pacing catheter you sometimes might make the mistake of pulling a cordis for like massive transfusion protocol. That cordis is usually an eight or nine French and that's the wrong cordis to use. So you wanna make sure you're using the right one for this. As soon as you place the cordis, we're gonna get all of our stuff ready for our transvenous pacer. This is gonna be a two person job. Our second person is gonna be managing the box. They're gonna be managing the sail as well as gonna be using ultrasound to help us, you know, identify that we have the correct placement of our transvenous pacer as it enters the right ventricle. When we look at the box, when we turn it on, it automatically is on DDD. We want to turn this to VVI. What this means is that our ventricle is pacing. It's going to be sensing at the ventricle and it's going to be inhibiting the box if the box detects that patient is having a native beat. We'll keep this at 80. Assume that our patient is being like transcutaneously paced at like 60 or something like that. This is also gonna come with your non-sterile cords. This is gonna go ahead and connect to the ventricle. As far as what the sterile person is gonna be doing now, they're gonna be setting up your transvenous space. It's gonna come with a shroud, which you're gonna preload onto our pacing catheter. And it's also gonna come with a one and a half cc syringe, which is gonna be used to make sure that our balloon inflates. All right, it's preloaded, it won't go, fat, uh, go any further than one and a half cc's because you wanna, don't wanna blow up the balloon. So go ahead and preload this. And I will go ahead and hand this sterilely to our non-sterile person who will non-sterilely attach the positive to the positive, negative to negative. All right. At this point, you can go ahead and place the transvenous pacer. What you do is use the curve of what you have right here. Use this to your advantage to get into the right ventricle. So after about 20 centimeters, which you see by the double, double dotted line, usually are going to get past that cordis. And then you can go ahead and inflate your balloon. Use that as a sail to go from your SVC into the right atrium into the right ventricle. You'll notice that approximately at like 30 centimeters or so, you'll probably get capture into your right ventricle, which is probably around there. What I would do is make sure that I'm securing my line and I'm gonna go ahead and extend this shroud just a little bit, all right? At this point, I wanna make sure that I have capture. I thread just enough until I have that wide QRS morphology on my EKG, which point I'll take off my balloon because you don't want that to throw any clots. I will go ahead and secure the shroud to my cordis. So that maintains a now sterile environment on the inside. I'm gonna secure and hold on to my cord here as I extend this sterile shroud all the way out. And then what you can do is screw this down to secure it to the line. Once you've now sterilely applied this, I usually make a little circle, tape it to the patient, hold up the box, hang the box on the gurney, and we're good to go. During this entire procedure, your non sterile person probably would be using ultrasound to visualize the heart in A4 as this catheter is going into the right ventricle. The last job they're gonna do is take a look at the box. We're going to give them a little bit less current than 10 milliamps. So I'm going to decrease until I lose capture. And once I lose capture, let's say I lose capture at two, I'm gonna increase it back up to plus five from that. In this case, let's say it's seven. And we'll lock it, leave it at such. And then we'll go ahead and hang the box and let cardiology do their thing. Thanks everyone.